Hello again my friends, it's that time again, time to break down Bungie's weekly update, to dissect DG's every word in the hope of discovering something new about Destiny. Sadly, there was no beta launch date announcement, and so we continue to play the waiting game. The only thing we know for sure is that the beta is launching within the coming months. Bungie still isn't ready to share an exact date. The weekly update also fails to mention anything about Destiny's Collector's Edition. Bungie has dropped numerous hints that a Collector's Edition does indeed exist, but an official confirmation as well as what the Collector's Edition will actually contain still eludes us. But that's not to say that this week's update was a complete washout. Far from it my friends, there's just enough info here to keep us from going completely insane. We must persevere Guardians, we're almost there. It's time once again to talk about Destiny. First question is from dbgames115 who asks, is there going to be more in-game footage released soon? And here's how Deed responds, yes, soon, at long last, new gameplay footage, praise the effing traveller. The next question is from Takodo who asks, as we Guardians first step into the world, as we make our path for legend, will we find secrets and surprises along the way? And here's how Deed responds, yes, that is why you're made to suffer the wait. It's not a secret nor a surprise if Deej blurts it out on the blog. You'll have time to explore and room to stretch your legs. Just when you're about to make a bold new discovery, vicious aliens will attack from above, below or from every side. Be curious, but be vigilant. Your mission is vital, Guardian. If you succeed, you will become legend. If you fail, this city will fall and the last light of civilization will go out. The next question is from Bendy917 who asks, can you recruit NPCs or hire mercenaries to go with you on missions, raids, quests or anything like that? And here's how Deed responds, why would you want to recruit a non-player character when the world of destiny is populated with guardians? Every hero from the last safe city on earth will be driven by a living thinking player with a racing pulse and an itchy trigger finger. You'll come across characters bound to the software of course, but your allies will be the other players who join you on your adventure. Ventures. The next question is from EXP Bounty Hunter who asks, will we have preset loadouts that we can switch to when not in combat? And here's how Deed responds, your guardian is your creation. When you build your hero, you will take him or her across every mode of the game. We need you to add a character to the story we're telling and watch as you evolve as a player on this stage. Josh Hamrick did a great job of explaining your combat choices when he sat with us for the Bungie podcast. If you're daydreaming about guns, lots and lots of guns, give it a listen. Now, I've actually made a video breakdown of that podcast. If you'd like to see it, stick around until the end of the video. The next question is from Slow the King, who asks, how much of the full game are we going to be able to access during the beta? And here's how Deed responds, enough to tell us what we need to know, but not so much that you'll be left with no more worlds to conquer. Have you ever served Bungie as a beta tester? This will be the biggest proving grounds we've ever opened up to you before we gear up for the final launch of Destiny. The next question is from Dread Ranger, who asks, as a hunter, may one hold a pistol and a sniper rifle? I feel both are important for a hunter. And here's how Deej responds. There are lots of character elements that are exclusive to player classes. Each breed of guardian will fight and move and grow in unique ways. The weapon arsenal, however, is a free for all of firepower and mayhem. Your roguish hunter can enjoy a sniper rifle in his hands and a hand cannon in his holster. My regal warlock can butter belt fed heavy machine gun against his shoulder with a pulse rifle at the ready. Urk's burly titan can draw a scout rifle against his foe, holding a shotgun in reserve. Each guardian class can mix and match and repeat. In short, no matter what guardian class you choose, you can use every type of gun. And remember, Deej only mentioned a fraction of the guns that are available to you. Each of your weapons can be tricked out and buffed up. You're gonna have a lot of fun with these guns, every single one of them. The next question is from Kayo Funokami, who asks, how will raids work? And here's how Deej responds, mercilessly and with much cruelty. I saw them in action last weekend and the deadliest killers I know were shaken and stirred. Now, personally, I think Deej 
Fiji's answer to this question is the most exciting part of the mail sack. In past interviews and articles, Bungie has revealed that raids are larger cooperative activities that require planning and tactics. Raids promise to be hardcore experiences that only high level guardians tricked out in exotic gear can hope to complete. Raids will be part of what Bungie describes as aspirational goals, game modes within the universe that require dedication and many hours of playtime to conquer. Bungie has yet to release any actual gameplay of a raid in action, and whether or not raids will be accessible during the beta is still unknown. Either way, it's great to know that Destiny is going to be a AAA title with balls. This game isn't going to gently hold your hand, it's going to kick your ass until you're experienced enough to fight back and win. And personally, I cannot wait. The next question is from Mitch the Guy who asks, are we going to see crafting implemented in any way? And here's how Deej responds. The tower will be a place where you can restore and upgrade your weapons and gear. Some of the loot that you capture on your missions will be items that you can equip or wield. Other treasures that you reap from the action you sow will be raw materials that you need to upgrade your inventory. The best thing is that your rewards will be predestined. The fates know what you need and your fortunes will favour the brave. And finally, this question from Big Evil Turtle who asks, can a Guardian's outfit and weapon set be changed in the middle of a competitive match or are they stuck with what they entered the battle with? And here's how Deej responds. The plan is to enable you to carry an inventory with you and allow you to make changes on the fly. The mysterious the mysterious science that fills your pack with such wonderful toys is our secret for now. It's technology indecipherable from magic. Bungie also revealed in a tweet that if you're curious to see what gear a fellow player takes into battle, you can easily inspect the build of another guardian. And that's not all, Bungie also posted a few interesting photos in their weekly update. This image shows Bungie's network testers bug bashing Destiny, weeding out as many glitches as they can before the beta launches. As Destiny nears release, the studio will polish, tweak and refine the game until it shines like glimmer. The photos you see here are a culmination of over 7 years of work. Notice how Bungie has blanked out the monitors. The studio's info lockdown is still very much in effect and I have to admit, the lack of leaks is extremely impressive. Bungie is keeping a tight lid on Destiny's universe, for now at least, but I think we can expect some big news in the coming weeks. Now, you may also be wondering the best way to take out a fallen captain, and here's your answer. First, you decapitate him, and then you eat his face. Yes, this thing is an actual cake made by Tracy Gamble, the wife of one of Bungie's staff members. I mean, how cool is it working at Bungie? You get to bug test the game, and then you get to eat a fallen captain's head. It simply doesn't get any better than that. Now, as you probably already know, Bungie played an April Fool's trick. They posted a joke article about a collector's edition of the game called the Get Your Ass to Mars edition. Arnold Schwarzenegger fans will recognise this as the iconic line he spoke in the film Total Recall. Hilariously, Deej appears on the blog post as the races you'll be able to play in Destiny. Here he is in original human form. Here he is as an Awoken. Check out the distinctive light grey skin, piercing blue eyes and white hair. And here he is as an Exo, Destiny's self where robots originally developed as war machines during humanity's golden age. If you look closely, you'll see the word Deej painted on the side of his face. Now, Bungie has confirmed that you'll be able to customise your guardians with tattoos. Is this the robotic equivalent of a tattoo? Will you be able to decorate your Exo's face with custom daubings? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And here's something I noticed at the beginning of one of Destiny's Vidocs, which for some reason I hadn't noticed before. It says that Destiny is anticipated to be rated mature, which means we can expect to see mature content within the game. If this means I can dance a merry jig on fallen guts, well, count me right in. And I thought I'd end the video with this image. It's something I mocked up in Photoshop to show what I imagine the Destiny beta will look like on Xbox One. Yes, I'm that desperate to get my hands on the game that I've been reduced to this. Oh god. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If we can get to 3,000 likes, that would be amazing. Subscribe for more Destiny news and thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. Here comes that mother chuff of a boom. Hello again my friends, really glad to see you made it beyond the boom. Now earlier in this video I mentioned my breakdown of Bungie's podcast. If you click the on screen image or follow the link in the description box below, it will take you directly to that video. If you haven't already seen it, it's well worth checking out. 
And guys, today we passed 60,000 subscribers, a landmark I honestly never thought this channel would reach. It's because of your amazing support that we've reached that number. Every time you interact with one of my videos by liking, commenting and sharing it, you help this channel grow and allow me to spend more time making these videos for you. Thank you all so much for caring about this content. If you continue to support me, I'll continue to make the best possible videos I can for you. Thank you all so much. Now, I know it's disappointing that we didn't get any beta info or an official confirmation of a collector's edition of Destiny, but I have a feeling that Bungie's gearing up for a huge info explosion within the coming weeks. They did, after all, promise new gameplay footage soon. We just have to continue to play the waiting game, something I'm sure you're all pretty damn good at by now. Now, in order to help pass the time, why not follow me on Twitter? I tweet daily Destiny images and fun facts about the game and also answer your questions directly. I'll also be giving away more beta codes as a thank you for 60,000 subscribers. Links to all my social media in the description box below. And one last thing before I go, I've hidden a beta access code in this video. If you want to redeem it, you'll need to be lightning quick as these things go super fast. Good luck. And as always, until next time, Guardian.